Hey everyone, this is Angel from Alex Gaming with a brand new video for Returnal. Welcome to our first stop in Atropos, the derelict citadel. Here I am going to show you all the hostiles and fauna that you will find in the third biome and how you can counter each and every one of them so you have a better chance to survive. If you're looking for the boss guide, I'll have that uploaded later in the week and I'll leave the link in the comment section down below. There are timestamps in the description of the video and YouTube player as well in case you are focusing on a specific enemy. Let's start with the tripod. This is the most basic unit in the derelict citadel and in most cases pretty harmless. Actually, if you encounter them alone, they will let you roam around without even paying attention to you, but if they are near any other enemy unit, they will start to attack you with a bullet attack very similar to the Kerberon from the Bion 1. Just jump or dash to avoid the bullets and kill them on the distance or with a single melee attack. There is an upgraded version of the tripod that has a red shield and blasts a beam from the distance. There is no way to stagger these guys, so in case you don't have any shield breaking ammunition, you need to close the gap while dodging and jumping to the sides to avoid getting hit until you can strike with a melee and finish him off. Up next we have yet another improvement to the turret with the Citadel turret. These bad boys fire a projectile that detonates a red ring on impact and perhaps this seems simple enough but it's pretty easy to get overconfident around these and lose sight of the ring and get hit. Especially when you are surrounded by a number of other enemies or attacked by multiple turrets at once. The turrets should be among your priority list to avoid complicating the battle more than it already is. A couple of shots or a single melee attack will take them out. The third enemy on the list is the Broken Automaton, a less frightening version of the Automaton that we will see later. It will crawl towards you and whenever it gets close enough, a red area will appear surrounding it. Don't keep staring because it will explode after half a second, dealing massive damage. The best way to approach combat with these guys is keep your distance at all times. Jumping, dashing or using the hook is a great way to stay ahead and use your gun to destroy them, especially if you find higher ground. You can also attempt a very risky move to trigger the explosion and try to avoid the ring that comes after, but in my opinion it is too much of a risk, especially when multiple broken automatons are together, because the trigger time is not always the same for all of them. So please do yourself a favor and stay away from these bad guys. Fourth place in the list are the deadly drones and I gotta tell you, be prepared to get your butt kicked the first times you encounter a group of these because they can be brutal. They have two attacks, the first one a close range attack where they will spin and release a red ring that you should jump or dash through. The second and almost lethal attack is the homing rockets. Like other enemy projectiles, they have a small delay, so pay attention and don't dash after they have been deployed. When you see them coming against you, wait for just a split second and then dash to avoid getting hit. Finally, I don't know if I can call this an attack, but there is a third attack that is totally unpredictable because sometimes when you defeat them, they will crash near your position. Just try to stay aware of where the enemy is crashing instead of dismissing it as soon as you see the HP bar disappearing. My best advice against these guys is to go behind cover. The less rockets you need to be aware of, the better. Being out in the open without focusing on them while running away is probably ending with you getting killed. Get behind a pillar, inside a corridor, or even better, behind a door so you can do some big shots and take them one by one for a better chance of surviving. Next enemy is the Armor Machina, which is perhaps one of the easiest enemies in the whole game. Just stay away of this sphere and its bullets, hide behind a pillar and shoot it until it dies. Really nothing so complicated except for the projectiles that will try to hit you after it explodes. Be careful with those because they can trigger a malfunction if they hit you. Lastly we have the Mighty Automaton. This thing is perhaps one of the most intimidating enemies in the biome. The long range attack for this guy is the same as the Crimson Turrets from Biome 2. 
Just run away from it and after a second do a dash towards the direction you were coming from to cut through the bullets. Second attack is a laser whip with its left or right arm at a medium distance. Do a simple dash to get out of the way whenever you see its arms moving and glowing red. Third attack is a big stomp. Simple dash jump to avoid the first impact and follow with a simple jump to avoid the red ring that is triggered. Finally, its fourth attack is a long distance grip. Whenever you see his arm point directly towards you, pay a lot of attention. He will fire a tentacle that will pull you towards him. To avoid getting hit, dash as soon as you see you are hit to set yourself loose. There is also a malformed version of the automaton, but sadly, ever since finishing the game and returning to record gameplay for this video, I haven't been able to find him. Instead, I am encountering another malformed enemy that you could find in Biome 5. So I owe you that gameplay and I sincerely apologize. And that's it, this was the third guide on surviving Atropos with the enemies of the third biome. Don't forget to check the returner playlist for more useful videos. Hope this was useful, thank you for watching and keep enjoying the game.